Hello, this is a quick video to show you how to work with a translation memory by using some free tools. In this case, we'll look at Oliphant TMX Viewer as well as Exoterm. Uh, Oliphant on the PC and Exoterm on the Mac. So what we hope to accomplish, well, uh, first we'd like to just quickly discuss why translation memory uh, is important to you as a client. And then we'll show you the tools that you can get, and both are open source or discounted tools that you can use as well as how you would query or search in the translation memory and what you can do with the hits or the matches that you find. So quickly let's talk a little bit about why translation memory is important. Uh, as you may or may not know, uh, in our industry today we use tools called uh, CAT tools or computer assisted translation. Essentially all that is is a very smart database that sits behind the translator, the human translator, and as we're translating content it's being committed to that database. So what that allows you to do is that over time you're accumulating a, uh, a database of all of your content. So when you do updates or new documents, if you've done a specific sentence before or a specific section uh, in the past, it will come up for translation and that of course saves you time and money. Uh, the reason we're going over this little demo today is because a few of our clients have asked us, gee, how can we query that database? How can we use that technology uh, to our benefit? So uh, in order to begin, you'll need some tools. So if you're on a PC, you'll want to look at Oliphant, which is part of the Okapi framework. And you can uh, get, uh, get that at this uh, link. And it'd be good to have Notepad++ as well. And by the way, you can get that... Um, uh, Notepad++ for the PC, or you can even just use Text Edit or Text Wrangler on the Mac. And then on the Mac side for translation memory management, you would use Exoterm, and you can download that here. All right, so let's jump into Exoterm, which is the translation memory viewing tool we're going to use on the Mac side. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken a sample translation memory, or a TMX file, and loaded it into Exoterm. Uh, now that we've done that, essentially you can choose which languages. So for our scenario, we'll go ahead and use English US, and we'll use French France as our uh, language pair. And you'll see when you're seeing hits like this where there's no target text, that just means that you know we have a multilingual memory and while this sentence exists in the database, it doesn't exist translated in French, but it likely exists in one of the other languages. So that's why you'll see blank no target text. So essentially what you do here is you just search on terms that you're looking for. Here we're going to focus on the terms or the, the uh, options that are built into the tool and you see you can search on source or you can search on you know matching case or ignoring diacritics again diacritics are the accents so um, we'll just go ahead and start with one uh, we'll search on necklace and what you'll see is that it highlights all the given terms that or the phrases uh, and it highlights necklace in all of those phrases and you'll see the hits here um, if you let's say wanted to you know that there's the word uh, detail in French uh, um, you could potentially uh, search on a target ignoring diacritics and then you don't even really have to be able to type the accented characters and when you do that of course you'll see all the matches and I put an extra L now if I make that singular or just you know with one L you'll see that it comes up uh, with more options so that's essentially how you use exoterm and and from here um, you know you you can cut and paste or copy. So if you wanted to use the content in, an, in another application, you can do that. Uh, the power is essentially to very quickly uh, query the database and find your matches. Uh, the issue here, of course, uh, is that um, you know you don't get any information, any extra information like we did over in Oliphant. In other words, if you wanted to see the date created or the date changed, you're not seeing that information here. Um, it is kind of nice that if you click on a given segment, you'll see what other languages it exists in. So that's kind of a neat little feature that you have uh, here in Exoterm. What I would warn clients is that when you're doing this sort of thing, especially if you don't actually speak the language, you'll want to be very, very careful. Um, you know, all too often people will uh, search for a term and just very blindly grab, uh, 
grab the translation and place it into a segment somewhere and it doesn't take into account reverse word order or for example if there's an ending you know so there's some languages that use declensions or endings depending on what precedes a word so you you have to be very very careful what i typically suggest to clients is when you're using this sort of thing make sure that it's a whole segment match in other words uh, you know, if I'm looking for tie rhinestones to band, then fine, go ahead and use that whole sentence, and that's great. But if I'm just looking for the word band, which again could have multiple ways to be translated, uh, you know, I wouldn't just go ahead and try to fish the word out of here and use it. Uh, you'll al always want the help of a linguist to do that. All right, so for this part of the demo, we'll go ahead and take a look at Oliphant. So Oliphant is the more powerful of the two tools, in my opinion. Uh, you can do a little bit deeper search on some of the supporting information, like the change dates or creation dates, uh, which is sometimes uh, helpful. And let's go ahead and roll into this. So uh, some of the key things that you can do. So we're looking at a multilingual translation memory, or TMX file. And uh, all you simply do is file and open, uh, and, and you, of course, bring in all the results of that translation memory file, or TMX file, into this view. Now, what we can do is we can look at the field settings. And this is great, because you can activate as many of the languages or fields that you'd like. For this example, we'll go ahead and uh, uncheck a bunch of these fields. And a neat option is that you can have this checkbox set always distribute percentages, which is great because it'll, of course, uh, make the columns uh, auto-sized and appropriate for your view. So let's go ahead and eliminate some of these so we can see things a little bit better. All right, say OK. Great, so now you can see we can uh, properly see the text. Now, where you're seeing empty segments here, uh, what that means is that there's likely a translation for that unit in a different language, but not, not in this field. So all right, so let's look a little bit about how we can do searches. You can do simple searches by doing a find uh, option here in Oliphant. What I prefer to do is actually filter. So you can go ahead and build a filter and uh, there are some uh, neat built-in features here for example they have examples so you can say your source text is the same as target text or depending on what you're looking for uh, in this case what we'll do is we'll say uh, source text contains and of course it plugs in XYZ so you can simply just go ahead and type in something here and I'm looking for roots of necklace so I'm gonna search I'll just put in neck and we'll say OK and you notice it will bring up all the different segments that uh, have uh, uh, the root of necklace here so again uh, in the filter you can uh, go ahead and choose your settings by simply choosing the examples or you can also uh, choose different things by field there's all the operators are here which is great so you can get very very specific in your search uh, you'll notice that I also chose this that set, set filter for flagged entry so in other words I checked all of these items so that then I can go ahead and export these if I want and that's really simple you can go ahead and export to a TMX and again we're assuming that you installed notepad plus plus so uh, we'll go ahead and open uh, that file in Notepad++ so you can even do some other searches or cutting and pasting, um, repurpose the text. There's really a, a lot of neat things you can do. Um, let's go ahead and toggle this off. So now we have all the segments again. Uh, also keep in mind that you can arrange uh, simply by clicking on the headers you can arrange in reverse order so now by doing that I'm seeing all the Spanish Spanish text here uh, you can also change your languages here which is a, a, a neat thing and really for uh, f for the cost of this tool which is nothing it's really a, a free open source tool uh, you get a very powerful TMX viewer or TMX editor 
All right, so now that we've looked at exoterm as well as Oliphant, I, I think it's a good idea to understand what's in a TMX file. So uh, I just exported a, a few segments just to go over what's behind uh, the TMX files or the translation memory files. So this is basically XML, and if you open the file in Notepad++, you'll see you get some really interesting information in terms of you get a code for creation date, you get the create creation ID, in other words that's the person that worked on the translation, uh, the date that it was last changed, who last changed it, you know, what the source language was, you see a code ENUS, and then of course you'll actually see the segment. So here we have this segment, wrist wrapper, bracelet maker, and then you will see the supporting French uh, for Canada as well as supporting French uh, for France as well as the Italian and wherever you see empty markers you'll see that th this is a multilingual memory however the translation does not exist for those given languages and uh, Notepad++ is a very powerful text editor you can basically just do a search like you would in any other tool uh, one thing that's pretty neat about it is that if you have multiple files, let's say you have a bunch of translation memories you want to look at, y you can search across all open files and you can also do search and replaces across all open files. So uh, in closing with either Exoterm and with Oliphant on the PC side uh, and Notepad++, you really have a, a, a suite of tools that you can use on either Mac or PC that allow you to work pretty efficiently uh, on translation memory files. Thank you so much.